Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Friday that Ukraine will be receiving financial aid packages from the U.S. every two to three weeks during an interview with Ukrainian media. I will not say the details because I don't have the right to do it, but you will hear some of the details later. Aid packages, I believe, they will be big, from 500 to 750 million, Zelensky stated. Answering the question from one of the reporters, Zelensky reaffirmed that Ukraine is not going to create any nuclear threat to the world or any nuclear weapons. The Ukrainian leader met Thursday in Brussels with European Union leaders and then NATO defense ministers to discuss his victory plan. Major points of the plan include an invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western-supplied longer-range missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russia, steps that have been met with reluctance by Kyiv's allies so far. План перемоги у Верховній Раді до цього було на півмільярда. А також домовилися. Це є частиною також плану, що ми будемо отримувати дуже швидко зараз, раз на два-три тижні може бути, отримувати пакет, який буде посилювати нашу армію. Деталі не буду говорити, тому що не маю права на це, але ви будете бачити потім деталі. Пакети будуть, я думаю, великі. Музика а Україна повинна бути в НАТО, і аргумент, що в час Будапештського меморандуму ми віддали ядерну зброю і нам гарантували безпеку, територіальну цілісність України. Ось про що ми говоримо. Ми тут, громадяни України, бо ми в війні. А там настрій вони. Що ви хочете, щоб ми з русскими говорили? Так, посильте нас, щоб ми сиділи рівноправно. А не щоб просто стілець десь там в сторонці був. А як? Ну, інвітейшн дайте. І дайте зброю. Точно. І вони повинні знати, чому, в чому є позитив цього плану. Він не за лаштунками. Він дуже прямий. Він розрахований, що русські повинні знати, що ви нам це даєте. Вони повинні знати, що ми будемо це використовувати, якщо вони не хочуть закінчити війну. Ти були в державі. НАТО, ЄС, на країна захисту. Тоді і перемовини вони інші. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Thursday his country has intelligence information that 10,000 troops from North Korea are being prepared to join Russian forces fighting against his country. Zelensky did not go into detail about the claim that came a day after U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell said that Washington and its allies are alarmed by North Korea's military support for Russia's war in Ukraine but couldn't confirm Ukrainian claims that soldiers were sent to fight for Moscow. From our intelligence we've got information that North Korea sent tactical personnel and officers to Ukraine, Zelensky told reporters at a press conference with NATO Secretary General Mark Ruta. They are preparing on their land 10,000 soldiers, but they didn't move them already to Ukraine or to Russia," he added. The Ukrainian leader's comments raised the stakes for his Western allies as he met in Brussels with European Union leaders and then NATO defense ministers to discuss his victory plan to end the country's devastating war with Russia. Ukraine, uh, Ukraine truly deserves to become the so they thought NATO member one day, and we must do everything to ensure this happens. That is why the first fundamental point in the victory plan is the invitation to NATO. Ukrainians have shown that we can defend shared values, and we are standing against Russia. The biggest threat to Europe and global peace 
in our revolutions, we've proven that we truly value democracy. Strengthening of Ukraine, it's not only depending on the weapon, this kind or that kind, it's depending on the will. If, if our partners will not lose their unity, we will not lose this strength. And we will not use that unity. We'll be, we will not lose that unity. It's you so can count important. on that. And my message today to Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin is that if he thinks we will, we will not. And today again is evidence. Look what Australians have done, what the Germans are doing, what the US has done today. Uh, again uh, announcing uh, almost half a billion in uh, anti-missile defense systems. General, uh, you mentioned that, and that has been mentioned before, that China is a decisive... Because Putin will never stop. Just, just if we will not stop him, he will never stop. It's he likes the process. He's fan of the war. I gave today the example, very interesting example, when we tried to save our north part and went through their border on Kursk region. You know what the people said to our soldiers? You are NATO. You are Americans. Russian people said to our soldiers. Our soldiers, Ukrainian-speaking guys, but of course they know Russian language 100%. They begin to answer in Russian language, no. They said in Russian, no, 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 we're Ukrainians. They said, that, and Russians, these old people, they said, no, no, you are NATO, we know. You are NATO. They've been very surprised that we're Ukrainians. So you understand in what disinformation they live. So Putin built such government, he took the rights of his people, and now he's moving to the death, young people. That means that he will never stop. He likes this world, and he will protect his world. That's why we have to finish, and the, no, not finish, yes, yes, better to finish with him, yes, it's really, but to stop him, I I'm, mean, I'm to stop him, understand? Uh, uh, supporting Russia, and now, North Korea uh, trying to send personnel to fight your... From our intelligence, we've got information that North Korea sent technical personnel and officers to Ukraine on temporary occupied territories, and they are preparing on their land 10,000 soldiers, but they didn't move them already to Ukraine or to, to Russia. So we, when we will have this information, of course, we will raise up this question, but because this will be the second I think it's already the second country which uh, involved to this war against us. Thank you.